Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to learn to identify the difference between a brute force algorithm and a greedy algorithm. First, let's look at the definition of an algorithm. An algorithm is a procedure or set of steps to accomplish a certain type of task. A brute force algorithm will list every possible solution and apply each one to determine which are optimal. It could be that only one is optimal, or it could be there are a few tied for first place. Let's put this in the context of an example. Suppose you want to find a left to right path through this tree diagram that has the largest total sum when we add up the numbers. In red, you see the letters corresponding to the ends of the branches, just so that we can talk about them so we can be organized and name them. For example, the first branch at the top is branch A. It includes 10, 2, 11, and 13. Oftentimes it's easiest to identify a branch by working backwards through it. Uh, at least that's what my experience has been, that people have a little easier time going backwards. So if you have trouble reading tree diagrams, start at the right side and work your way to the left. The branch that ends at B will include 8, 11, 2, and 10. It's easier to go from right to left because there's only one path to follow in that direction, whereas when you go from left to right, there are many different paths. So that's what we mean by a branch of the tree diagram. The brute force algorithm that we're going to use to solve this problem of finding the branch with the highest sum is to find the sum associated with every single branch. So for branch A, we said we're going through 10 to 11 and 13 for a total of 36. Branch B went through 10 to 11 and 8 for a total of 31, and so on. Here is a list of all the sums that you get when you methodically go through every single branch. Comparing the sums, we see that the largest value is 40, which is branch E. Branch E is the optimal solution, and there is only one optimal solution because no other branches have a sum of 40. Now let's talk about greedy algorithms. A greedy algorithm approaches a problem in stages, making the apparent best choice at each stage, then linking the choices together into an overall solution, which may or may not actually be optimal. The advantage of a greedy algorithm is that it saves time. Let's apply a greedy algorithm to the same problem problem we looked at with the brute force algorithm. Remember, we're looking for a branch with the largest sum. What we're going to do is look at the first entry, which is 10. We're going to start with 10. Plus, I'm going to make a decision now based on the next entry. I can either choose to travel along the branch to 2 or the branch to 7. 7 is bigger, so that appears to be the better option. That would give us seven, 10 plus 7, which is larger. Then I'll move on to the next phase. From 7, I choose between 3 and 4. 4 is larger, so we're going to travel along the branch to 4. Then we look at the next phase. What's larger, 5 or 11? 11 is larger, so we're going to travel that way. This is the branch G, and the sum is 10 plus 7 plus 4 plus 11. 32. At each stage, we chose the best option we had immediately in front of us, and we ended up with option G, which is not as large as option E, but the greedy algorithm doesn't reveal all of this information to us. What it does do is save us a bunch of time. So the pros and cons of different types of algorithms. Although a brute force algorithm gives us the ideal solution, it can take a very long time to implement. I gave you a fairly small example, but imagine a tree diagram with thousands or even millions of branches. It might not be possible to check all of the sums. A greedy algorithm, on the other hand, can be completed in a relatively short time and generally leads to good solutions, although not necessarily the ideal solution. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Ms. Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos.